My name is Ed Goldhammer, and I'm the Director of Codes and Approvals at Hilti. It started back multiple years ago when the architect uh, and engineers and design community came to, to the industry and said, we have a concern that some of our systems, even though they're designed to be rigidly supported, will move over the life cycle of the building. And we want to make sure those systems perform properly during a fire. It's ASTM 3037, Movement of Penetrations and Fire Stop Systems. It was important um, to take that standard to the next level and be able to provide certification where a testing agency would, could uh, develop um, a certification program and we could get listings for movement. But UL has developed a certification program. It's now, which is exciting, it's an M rating. So like other ratings that are additional attributes, such as leakage, L ratings, um, water, W ratings, we now have this M rating, which is uh, movement. So that's movement penetrations. So with that rating, now we can specify movement criteria, and we know if that movement criteria happens, that the fire stop system will perform as intended through a, through a rated assembly. So the ASTM test standard uses the movement cycling test apparatus, and that apparatus um, samples tests in two different directions. One is the Y direction, which is perpendicular to the annular space, and one is the Z direction, which is parallel to the annular space. So the way the test typically works is uh, you'll do a certain number of cycles at a certain distance, and you just track down each cycle and each distance until you achieve your maximum movement capability for that system. Once you've achieved your maximum movement capability that for that system, then you take it to the ASTM E814 or UL1479 uh, fire test and burn it. And once you achieve the proper ratings with the burn, then you can get your M rating as well as your fire ratings. The preformed devices perform significantly better uh, with movement capabilities, typically exceeding the thresholds of the limits set by the standards. Because of this, we know that if a fire stop system requires a lot of movement, we would recommend preformed devices for those scenarios. So it's important to know that this is a specification-driven requirement. It's not prescriptive within the code. So the designers, the engineers, and architects are going to prescribe this specifically in their specifications. During the design process, they'll understand how much movement capability is needed for a certain scenario, such as uh, excessive equipment vibration, or a potential thermal expansion or contraction, or even potentially a slab deflection. And based on that information, we'll be, we'll be able to provide the sufficient fire stop system for that application.